Hey guys, Q here for WaterButtonSmashes.com and this is our review for eFootball PES 2020 Lite. Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. Last year, I praised Konami for their generosity in my club and PES 2019 Lite. This year, I'm evaluating a sequel eFootball PES 2020 Lite to see how it stacks up. As with last year's vision of the game, this is still a trimmed down vision of PES with a strong focus on my club. So as I've mentioned in previous years, if you're looking to play Master League on other single player modes, then this is not the version of the game for you. Those modes are available in the full price version of the game or currently through Xbox Game Pass for Xbox One users. If you're interested in about learning about the full game, then check out our full review of it. If Master League is your interest, then you'd also want to check out our Master League dedicated review as well. Now, since my club is the main focus of this version of the game, I'll jump directly into my analysis of that mode. Firstly, I just want to say my club isn't as generous as it has been in previous years. Also, since it is an online only focus mode, I'd like to be transparent in that it is possible for it to improve or worsen depending on the aspirations of the publisher. Thus far, it seems to have been focused towards prioritizing the premium currency, my club coins. Like in previous games, you can get 30 of these every few days as part of the game's login reward system. Once you have 100 coins, you can then purchase special agents which will grant you access to featured players and legends. Now keep in mind that this is part of a randomized system. You're not always guaranteed to get the player that you really want. In the previous game, you could purchase some of these using GP, the regular currency you earn from playing the game, but that's become a rare occurrence with this year's game. This stronger focus on my club coins left a bad taste in my mouth because you have to purchase this currency. With it having a greater focus in this mode, I find it to be much closer to EA Games FIFA Ultimate Team than it has ever been. And that's not a good thing. My club coins cost $1 per coin, which may seem like an inexpensive price to pay, but remember, it's being used in a randomized system with the possibility for duplicates. This means you can possibly spend thousands of coins and not get the player you actually want. There's also no limit to the amount of coins you can spend on some agents, particularly the ones which include legendary players. For most kids and some adults, this could result in them gambling away all of their money on a chance to get a player that they desire. What makes this even worse is that PES is an annual released game where purchases don't roll over. To add to that, it has also become even more pay to win in that players can now outright purchase fully licensed teams to be used in my club. These teams cost $4.99 in any currency that you have, which I find to be ridiculous that it doesn't currency scale as with most other microtransaction or games. In these teams, you get all the current players that exist in the real life versions of those teams. This means that if you purchase a team like Juventus, you get access to players like Ronaldo, Paulo Dybala and Matuidi easily without having to earn it in game and that team can then be used to play against other players online. There has been what I assume to be some balancing attempts to keep the current in-game economy functioning by not allowing players from these purchased teams to be placed into other squads and vice versa. But I can't see this as anything but pay to win. These teams include Juventus, Barcelona and Bayern Munich. These are some of the best teams in the world with some of the highest rated players in the game. I don't know of any PES player who has been asking for this, but I'm sure there will be some out there who will defend it. The game also lacks a free agent from winning special matches, which was a feature I appreciated a lot in the previous game. In a way, it seems like the developers went to the drawing board, looked at all of the things that made my club possible to be played for free and turned most of them off. It's a shame because this is a franchise that could use all the goodwill that it can muster and with FIFA Ultimate Team losing its appeal for similar reasons, it was the ideal time to stay the course. Now all that being said, the devs do seem to listen to the fan base and make adjustments in line with our interests. So if you play this game and mode, be vocal. Be very vocal via their Facebook page, facebook forward slash pez.devteam. So with all the negative points out of the way, let's talk about the good stuff. The game is exactly the same as the main game for eFootball PES 2020. So that means all of the improvements to the dribbling, physics and atmosphere created from what is easily the most authentic footballing experience to date. When actually playing the game, there is nothing that comes close. 
The game is solid with impressive visuals which do a good job of emulating the real thing, especially when the new camera is in use. Online matchmaking is very similar to last year's game and so is the netcode. As such, I've had a great experience in matches online and a few of them has had some lag, but overall, it has been a mostly positive experience. eFootball PES 2020 Lite also comes with local multiplayer, all the online modes and edit mode on the PC and PlayStation 4 versions of the game. In local multiplayer, you can access the following teams, FC Barcelona, Manchester United, FC Bayern, Juventus, Arsenal, Palmeiras, Flamenco, Sao Paulo, Corinthians, Vasco da Gama, Boca Juniors, River Plate, and Cola Cola. You also have access to three stadiums, the Allianz Arena for FC Bayern Munich, Allianz Parque for Palmeiras, and New Son Arena. As for the online modes, you have access to all of the teams and stadiums that are available in the full game. He's through. Gets away from big chance. Hits one. Was there ever any Back to my club, we've also got improvements to the player leveling system. Instead of having players base level be level 1, their current form be level 30 and max level be above that, it has been replaced with a much more easy to understand leveling system. Now players start with level 1 being their current form with the possibility to level up past that using trainers or from being used in matches. The My Club members presentation menu has also been changed to display more data on the players in an easy to access format. Some players may not like that this has come at the cost of the beautiful player renders, but I prefer it over having more loading screens. As for the rest of My Club, it has remained unchanged. So if you played last year's game, then you'll know exactly what to expect in this one. But for those who may not have played last year's game, I'm just going to go briefly through some of the stuff that you can expect in My Club. You can expect to be able to trade players if you have three duplicates. You can also train players to level them up and you can also play multiplayer with and against your friends or against random people online. There's a lot more to the mode, but if you'd like to learn more about that, please check out my PES 2019 Lite review where I go through all the details about the mode that have not changed in this year's version of the game. Lastly, I just want to take a moment to discuss match day. This mode seemed to have the most potential before launch, but I found myself not playing it much. This is due to it only being active for a very limited amount of time and the rewards not seeming worth it. That kind of sucks because I was greatly looking forward to playing match day after experiencing it in Germany during Gamescom 2019. And it's Iguain. Iguain gets it out to the wing. A really good feat from him. And to Bruyne! Goal! Monaco! That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. So, with all I've had to say so far about this game, here's my final verdict. If Football PES 2020 Lite is Konami playing it safe while still pushing the wrong boundaries. What I mean is that at the time of writing, this is still a game that I'd recommend to responsible adults, but I don't know if that will be possible in the future. I genuinely want this franchise to be successful because markets don't thrive on monopolies. Just take a look at what NBA 2K has become. PES needs to be a competitor in the eFootballing space, but not at the expense of its most loyal fan base. Practices like that are the reasons I jump ship from FIFA back to PES. And though this year's game is still the most engrossing in the market, with PES Lite and PES Micro being some of the most interesting modes, the precedent it seems to be setting thus far has me worried for the future. Thank you very much for watching our review of eFootball PES 2020 Lite. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to leave us a like and a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll always know when you put up new content.